Okay, y'all. So today would be day 30 of the series. I'm um, just be coming back and talking. Um, it's coming around to the four month mark though. And I just really didn't even want to give you guys any more updates for a little bit because I got some good news and it's not fully solidified. And basically the frustration in it is that I keep getting like little hiccups or little setbacks. And um, I felt like I just didn't really want to give any updates. I'm just currently kind of messing with my hair a little bit. I felt like I just didn't really want to give any updates because um, not just my own frustration, but like I'm sure y'all would have frustration because I have people watching that say, you know, they're praying for me. They want the best for me. They want me to get out of this situation. But it's it's on a level right now where it's like, we're so close, we're so close, but not just there yet, you know? And I feel like it's not necessarily good to just keep um, adding fuel to the fire and just, oh, this bad thing happened, that bad thing happened, this bad thing happened, that bad ha thing happened. And a lot of what has started to kind of frustrate me just a little bit while I've been on this journey, I've noticed actually. So this is not like a... <laughs> I'm gonna put the disclaimer that this is not like a me being full of myself thing or a me being like, yeah, I'm I'm such a celebrity and blah, blah, blah. But I've noticed that there are so many monitoring spirits kind of surrounding me. Like, and I'm not talking about regular people on my social media that I've never met before that have just followed me and we never interacted on that. I'm talking about people that know me in real life, that see what I'm posting about that have not asked am I okay, that haven't like, there's a lot of monitoring spirits around me. And I, I started to kind of feel a little weird way because I'm like, wait a second, these people know me. So, you know, they say the worst thing that you can do is expect yourself out of other people. The worst thing you can do is expect yourself out of other people, right? So I try really hard not to expect myself out of other people, but I also try to believe that people are at least halfway decent, you know? and. I don't know if it would matter to you guys, but with me being in this situation, I'm like, damn, people that actually, tranquila, mama, por favor. Um, me being in this situation and people actually knowing me, having had like known me for years, having had been to my house, having had talked to me, text me, been places with me, not even reaching out, like that's weird to me. But to like never miss a story, never miss a post, to publicly comment and support, but to never actually send them a genuine type message or like, are you okay? I'm not even saying folks supposed to be sending money. I'm not saying none of that. I'm saying just like, hey, you good? You straight? Like you all right? Uh, it's just kind of really weird to me to be like a monitoring spirit because for me, this might sound selfish, but outside of- Tranquila, mama. Yeah, I, outside of me wanting to make certain posts and stuff to try to help other people out, I really be in my own bubble. I be in my own freaking bubble because clearly y'all see I got a lot going on. So it's not really in my best interest to mind other people's business. Now, I, I'll hop on the shade room with the best of them. But um, yeah, I'm not like 100% of the time like on everybody's stories and everybody's business trying to figure out what everybody doing, who they fucking like. I'm, that's not my thing. That's not my vibe, right? Y'all, she's just like, I just took her out. So she's just doing too much right now. Um, that's not really my vibe to be. And I know to some people, I feel like, okay, so I've been seeing a lot of diff different stuff and I, I kind of just want to elaborate on that, right? Um, people would be like, people think they're the main character, they're the main character. First of all, everyone is the main character. Everyone is the main character. And I think a lot of y'all don't realize that. We all are living different stories. So my book is my book. And that's why I say, this is a different chapter. This is a different chapter. Let's close this chapter. My book is my book. Tiger's book is Tiger's book. Your book is your book. Their book is their book. Like everybody's the main character of their own story. But I think the people's problem is when they start to think that they are the main character of everyone's story. And that's not a good thing. And that's what's helped me to realize why a lot of people just don't give a fuck about me. Like I'm the main character of my story, but to other people, they are the main character of their own and it just is what it is. Right? So at the end of the day, um, I can't be mad at people for not caring about what I have going on. But my, where my concern comes in where I say it's weird is somebody who's consistently is showing the monitoring type spirit. Like 
It's one thing to not care what I have going on. Ty. Silencio, mamá. So, it's one thing to not... Ty, tranquila, mamá. It's one thing to not care about what I have going on. It's another thing to never miss a post. And then be on like, I don't care. Uh, you don't care, but you're always in my views. You don't care, but you always on a post. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's just kind of weird energy. And it's like, I don't like people like that, that they don't compliment you when you got something good going on. They don't check on you when you got something bad going on, but they always want to know what you have going on. That's creepy. So I've been definitely on like an unfollowing type spree vibe. Cause I'm like, y'all motherfuckers weird as fuck, bro. Like it's definitely very monitoring spirit. Very like, oh, I just want to know what you have going on. I just want to see if you're doing good or bad. And I know in every case it won't be like, a, oh, I just want to see if you're doing good or bad in comparison to my own life. But what else is it? Like you care what I got going on, but you don't care enough to actually care. And I know I'm a different kind of person. I'm not trying to exalt myself over the next person but that i don't like that type of energy so i the one thing that i could say i'll be positive about and i could thank god for situations like this if you want to test your friends out get broke if you want to test your friends out go through something in life for real for real I, like that ass if you want to test out who's your friends and who's there for you your family all that get sick like that's the sad part you have to be in dire ass situations to see who really give a fuck about you and i don't care if i just met somebody two weeks ago if I see that they're not doing all right in life, I'm going to check up on them. I'm going to make sure they're straight. Especially if I'm consistently trying to see what's going on, like I'm tuning into a TV series. You get what I'm saying? Like, but that's just me. So maybe my biggest thing is even though I say I don't want to expect myself from other people, I kind of still do. But to an extent, you cannot be friends with anyone unless you see something of yourself in them. And... If I don't see enough genuineness or enough care or enough like conscience in someone, yeah, I don't want nothing to do with you. Sorry. And you could be a supposedly super sweet person. But when it comes down to me, if I don't see that, no, why would I even want you to be around me? Because that's why. Um, oh, y'all. Round of applause. Woo! I finally launched my podcast that people have given me the idea to do. I finally launched my podcast. It is called The Power Is Mine. You can find it on Apple Podcasts and you can find it on Spotify. I get like more in depth about certain things and I'm going to talk about like a variety of topics. At some point, I'll probably start doing guests and stuff like that. But for right now, it's very much like a healing process for me. Anybody who's been through stuff, um, it's it's like going to I'm going to talk about everything, cover a whole lot of different topics. And it's just it's really like a love letter. To anybody that is following me on this journey that's supporting me and stuff like that i do get into some serious topics a, po um, a podcast that i just posted today i was talking about kind of like suicidal ideation so trigger warning on that you know like it does get deep sometimes but at the end it's it's really all just like hey i'm going through this i'm going through that and I'm still trucking. You know what I'm saying? So it's it's really a love letter to anybody that supports me type thing. I don't want to say fans because I feel like that's very self obsessed. Um, I don't I don't really want to say fans. Like I don't want to say that. But anybody that supports me, like can go listen, can go support it. Um, you know, just whatever. So yeah, basically, um, my biggest thing is if I don't see enough of my care and stuff from at least myself. You know, like I feel like. I want genuine connections. I want genuine friendships. I'm a big fan of four quarters is more valuable than 100 pennies because nobody wants to go into the store and pay for something with 100 pennies. Nobody wants to count out pennies all fucking day. So I treat my friendships the exact same way. If I feel like you're really not a valuable friend, you're not going to get around me because I know what comes with me. I know that there is value to me. And um, me posting the last update, day 29, I ended up using that as the intro for my podcast because I just kind of listened to what I was saying and I was like, no, let me let me make this intro for my podcast and just kind of um, segue from there. But basically, you have to know who you are. You got to know what your superpower is. And when you know who you are, you value who you are. And you don't just let anybody come around and just take advantage of that and not kind of reciprocate a little bit of that. You get what I'm saying? So if I feel like you don't actually care about me, I'm not interested in really like kicking shit with you. You get what I'm saying? Like, I don't want to have friends just say, oh, look, I got all these friends. I'd rather people be like, damn, she ain't got no friends because everybody 
people don't realize that a lot of their connections are based around the fact that y'all drink, y'all smoke, and y'all sit around just doing nothing together. There's no elevation to it. And I guarantee you, even if you want to see who your real friends are, just whatever, tell everybody to put in a little bit of money into a business venture and see how ghost people get. People don't want elevation. You know what I'm saying? So I want friendships that elevate me, motivate me, do something for me in the sense like not just monetary like okay i know that if i'm going through this my friend i'm actually going to feel like people care about me because my friend is going to reach out and say hey girl you good you okay hey girl i might not have no money but i could come sit with you hey girl i might have a little bit of money it's not a lot but i could give this to you i give that to you like show me friendship don't just be like oh yeah that's my friend and you only call me when it's time to go out and drink knowing a bitch don't drink and now you're just trying to force drinks into my face the whole night. So that's not friendship to me. That's not worth it to me. And I've learned how to reanalyze people and say, yeah, some people are just like hang out friends. Some people are this, some people are that. Some people are just work relationships. But still, um, if I'm gonna call you, like that's where you differentiate associate from friend. So if I'm gonna have you anywhere near me, of potentially getting any benefits of being around me, the, the free therapy, the because I'm always everybody therapist, the free therapy, the the just being like a good look, the the okay, when I'm going out, I'm going to make sure people are straight. Like I'm not going to be sitting up eating lobster and surfing like surfing turf and you over there eating McDonald's. Like that's just that's not how I stay. So if the energy ain't reciprocated, no thank you. That means you just leech in. That means you just you want to be associated with me but you're not actually like cool with me for real for real. So I don't like that. So I firmly believe in four quarters is way better than having a hundred pennies so i'm not too pressed to just be like oh she got so many friends what the fuck does that do for me people thinking i got a whole lot of friends and none of them are actually really my friend they're just people that are around me what is the point what's the purpose i'm just putting a little dent in my fro or should i just let it i'm gonna just let it be and let's see what it's given but yeah y'all i really didn't even want to give no more updates for right now because i'm like it's kind of depressing for me and i guess kind of depressing for people that want to see something better happening because there's just like i'm at a kind of a stalemate and i just kind of got to wait it out so i was kind of getting into that on my podcast today but y'all i'm trying to keep positive as possible the situation just is a situation and um Clearly, I haven't lost the car or the dogs. So, you know, it just is what it is for right now. But, whew. we're going to all hope for the best. And I want whatever you guys are going through for you guys to keep hoping for the best in your situation, too. Because just because things feel like they're not going to take off in that moment or, like, like as soon as you want them to doesn't mean they're not going to. Like... It could be right around the corner for me. Like, it could definitely really be right around the corner for me. So I have to keep telling myself, like, every day to just relax, you know? Like, and that's the best thing. Thank God I haven't had to lose the dogs yet. Thank God I didn't lose my car. So, you know, situation turned out good in that sense. So, um, don't get mad at me for not updating. If I haven't updated, it ain't an update. I'll update you guys when I got some better news. But... Peace and love, y'all. Please go listen to my podcast. It can get a little kind of somber at times, but I promise it'll start getting in a little better direction later. But peace and love.